Hello YouTube viewers and welcome to segment 11, I think it is, of uh, Building My Teardrop. Um, so what we're going to be doing today and probably over a couple of days here is we're going to be prepping um, and completing one of the side panels. Uh, I've already completed the other side panels so I kind of figured out some of the things but uh, for this one I'm going to show you uh, every step of completing the side panel. This is probably going to take a couple of segments because um, there's a whole bunch of things to do, but I'm just going to run down kind of what we're going to do um, here. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drill and uh, uh, make some pocket holes here for uh, attaching the side to the, um, to the floor. Uh, once that's done, uh, we're going to start working on gluing in the insulation. Uh, that I cut earlier, gluing the insulation into this panel, cutting channels for wiring, uh, putting in some chases for wiring, um, and uh, some pull strings. Um, then finally, actually gluing the panel down, how we get that all centered and spaced, uh, gluing the, the inside panel down, um, then uh, trimming that inside panel to the correct curves, um, then one of the most nerve-wracking uh, parts is I'm going to be cutting out um, the side for the hatch cover and uh, that was uh, took me uh, uh, a couple of hours of head scratching to figure out exactly how I wanted to do that and then getting up the nerve to actually put the saw to the uh, to the side so uh, let's go ahead and get started and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, Craig jig so that's what this is here and this is to drill some um, holes for pocket screws and what a pocket screw is is it is a uh, it's a hole that goes diagonally and then a screw will come out right in the center of the thickness here and then go into the uh, floor so what this does is this allows that that screw to be um, kind of countersunk down inside of a pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that so what I've done is I've made some marks here um, making sure that uh, they're inside where there's going to be cut cutouts so um, so I'm not kind of screwing into nothing so um, I also did some measurements on uh, uh, using my pocket hole jig and there's normally some little feet on here that allow you to do spacing well this one if you'll remember I've got an extra inch and a half which represents the floor here so I had to, to kind of figure out a workaround and I found that if I put the use the clamp here and I go to the full depth of the clamp like this that it's the perfect distance um, for the, the thickness of this side and then the next thing that you do is you take your drill and it's got this special drill bit for the pocket hole and you start right here That's all there is to it. There's the pocket hole. I'll clean that up in a little while. But you can see there's where the pocket hole is. A screw will go in here and come out through the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do this every foot along the uh, uh, along the, the side here. And uh, then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I just wanted to show you the uh, cleaned up pocket uh, screw holes here and just show you how the screw works. So, so there you can see one. Hopefully you can see some detail there. And uh, so there's a the, the way that drill bit works is it drills the pipe pilot hole and then there's this this flange here and so this leaves a flat surface down inside the hole and then you use this particular screw and then the screw goes down in here starts a pilot hole and you just drill it down until it seats and the, this this large head of the screw seats against that flat spot and it's way down underneath where this pocket hole is. Now in a finished piece of work you can then put a plug into into here and sand it off and it's almost invisible uh, if you do it right. Uh, this one, uh, this is going to be covered by aluminum so I'm probably not even going to plug them but uh, it should give me a pretty good uh, um, uh, strong mount with the addition of some glue to the floor. Okay, so I've got it turned flipped over here, and you can see here are the spaces where the insulation goes and the wiring. So here's the insulation that I cut earlier, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit it into these holes, 
and uh, glue it in there. So it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, just regular tight bond two uh, to glue these in. And so you just want to get it's kind of glued shut. So you just want to get pretty good coverage in there. And I like to spread it around a little bit. And this is just a uh, this is part of a, a, a kit that I got from Rockler. It's made of silicone, so the glue won't stick to it. So when the glue is uh, dry, it just peels right off of it. And that includes epoxy and the PL Premium, the construction adhesive. So it's, they're pretty neat. Um, I also use a, um, they came with some brushes as well. And I used the brushes, and, but I needed some more. So what I went to do, when I, what I did is I went to a, uh, uh, just a store and bought some cheap, Put that in there. All right. Simple as that. And I'm going to put some weights on top of them to press them down into the glue. But that's basically what we do. So, uh, but what I did is uh, I went to the store and I bought some uh, cheap um, uh, silicone basting brushes and then cut the tips off of them. And they work great as glue uh, as glue brushes. So that's just a little tip for you. So I'm going to go ahead and glue up some more of these and then I'll put the weights on, show you what it looks like, and uh, then we'll probably be done for today. Okay, so here it is all glued up and clamped. Um, and so we'll just leave that until tomorrow and that glue should be set up and then we'll start cutting some channels for some wiring and stuff like that.